Well, Bloomberg Economics estimates that U.S. consumers saved about one and a half trillion dollars during this pandemic. Joining us now to discuss uh, the subject is Kogo 600 radio host and KUSI contributor Sully Sullivan. Sully, good morning. Hey, morning, Lauren. Good to see you. All right. So uh, on the heels of that, really quickly, happy one year anniversary with uh, the on the air show. Very cool. Thanks so much. We had such a great time this year. We we got to get you back immediately because you haven't been on for a few months. So it's time <laughs> to get get uh, get you and Rudy back in there, get Mathis in there, and uh, get the brain trust from the morning. Good morning, San Diego, in there. Yeah, it was great. It was fantastic. Check it out tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. Uh, I was surrounded by great greatness. Yeah, you uh, should invite me back on when Drew Shirley's there. That would have been cool. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get we'll get we'll get like a huge rock star next time, really. Uh, deal. Like I'm in. All right. I, it would be a treat just to be there with you guys again. But let's talk about this because I'm kind of surprised. I was discussing yeah. how much uh, my food budget has had to go up during this <laughs> pandemic because I'm eating out so much more, trying to support all these businesses, uh, yeah. and, and just being lazy, truthfully. But 1.5 <laughs> trillion dollars and growing apparently is what U.S. Yeah. consumers have saved during this pandemic. First of all, how do we know that? Well, Bloomberg Economics is a, is a pretty standard uh, uh, economic data factory. And I'll tell you, um, I depend on them quite a bit. And I can, I can also tell you this, that number is at least double the average, double the average growth of uh, the GDP product witnessed in the last expansion. And it's equivalent to the annual output of South Korea. That is a huge amount of money. Uh, and it's not just happening here in the U.S. It's happening across the world you know, $3 trillion in extra savings across the world. Uh, and that vast cash hoard creates a potential for a really powerful recovery, not to mention the fact that we've got a ton of pent up demand I've been talking about. And the better news, according to most economic analysts, is that we're gonna continue to save uh, as restrictions uh, remain in place and COVID uh, and Congress doles out the stimulus. But one of the reasons is, is because, you know, folks are scared a little bit when they don't know what the future is. And long story short, We've seen credit card balances go down. We've seen savings rates go up. And also, um, uh, we've seen credit reports actually go up. One of the things also, though, and you have to remember, is that although uh, some of us have tried to, to support local businesses, when those businesses were closed, we didn't have any place to spend money other than online. You can only buy so much stuff for your house after you get the third Peloton and the fourth, uh, and the fourth bench press machine for the garage for your home exercise equipment. You know, at that point, people stopped spending money. And that's what we're looking at. We're looking at a, at a 50,000 foot view over the last year and how much money we saved. Yeah, but it kind of seems like a tale of two different stories here because meanwhile, you have Congress evaluating uh, you know, $1.9 trillion stimulus bill, sending out $1,400 to families because they're having such a difficult time. And then you talk about other families buying the third Peloton. And it's really two different narratives that are going on here. People really struggling and people who, you know, are, are kind of seeing the fruits of, of some of the, the silver linings in all of this. And it makes you wonder, are we doing the right thing with where we're infusing our, our money, our stimulus money? Boy, you're so spot on here, Lauren. And one of the reasons is because this two tales, as you talk about, has to do with the, with, with the businesses that were allowed to remain open and the businesses that were allowed to close. What is the number one industry in the world? It is tourism and hospitality. The number one industry in the universe, tourism and hospitality. It's not technology, it's not oil and gas, it's hospitality. Right here in San Diego, 24% of our workforce is based in the hospitality sector. When you consider that all those people didn't have jobs, those are the people that the stimulus is really meant for, and those people weren't saving any money. So you're exactly right. The issue comes down to, look at, when I get a stimulus check in the mail, that's a ridiculous notion. Those stimulus checks should be going to the people in the hospitality industry, in the retail industry that need it. So there, you know, Congress is continuing to try to do a one size fits all uh, uh, fix here when you're we're not in a one size fits all economy, especially during COVID because of the restrictions. We didn't shut everything down. We only shut at, at least uh, I think at one point in the very beginning, you, know, you couldn't really go to anywhere but grocery stores. But for the most part, this huge piece of the economy has never come out of this thing. We still have restrictions. And you just heard the, the, the judge rule this week that the restaurants and gyms here in San Diego are going to remain on lockdown for a while. So that's the issue that you're talking about there. And those people, those employees couldn't save any money. Yeah, well, 
Certainly hope those who need it get it and uh, those Fingers who crossed. have extra can uh, help out maybe in some other areas and uh, yeah. boost the economy, that pent up demand we're all focusing on. Sully, thank you so much uh, right. this morning for that uh, bit of bright news. It should help the economy here shortly. And I, I got a friend here in studio, a guy I think you know pretty well. Um, Who's that? Russ is here. Oh, no. About to cause I'm trouble, so sorry. I think. <laughs> I am so sorry that, uh, that you actually know. Rusty Nails, of course, uh, the, uh, the Emmy Award winning Rusty Nails. Yes. The All other right. half of the Big Biz Show and a third of On the Air on KUSI. Thank you.